One of the number one things that we are constantly being asked by you is, what are the hidden gems in Las Vegas? Tell me something about a place that nobody knows about. So if you follow me through this video, we're gonna show you five hidden gems all around the city. Okay, hidden gems are my favorite thing about Las Vegas because there are so freaking many of them. My team and I are constantly looking for new things that we can add to the list to share with you and our clients who come into town. So this is just five, stay tuned. If you want us to do more of these videos, you're gonna have to do me a huge favor. Comment below, let us know more hidden gems or just something that lets us know that these are videos that you wanna keep seeing. But meanwhile, let's get started and talk about the first one. Let's talk about the Hidden Graffiti Museum downtown right off of Fremont Street. Did you even know this existed? I didn't think so. Good news for you, it's called DT Alley. You can check it out on dtalley.vegas. What this is is really a community project that's come together where they bring artists from all over the city, they can donate their time, put their artwork up, and you can enjoy it. It's constantly changing, constantly evolving. There's sculptures, there's all kinds of interactive experiences. It's definitely something you wanna try, and it's free. Also, I just recently did a video on my channel over at Las Vegas Gal, where I took a little roller skating trip downtown and I enjoyed it for myself. So if you wanna check that out and see some of the artwork up close, that would be a good spot for you to do it. Let's talk about Las Vegas's only hidden coffee shop. I'm talking Gabby Coffee. It truly is hidden. There's no sign outside. You don't know where it is. You have to Google it and figure it out. But once you walk through the doors of this gorgeous location, it is like you're stepping into a portal of, from another time. I almost got married here. That's how much I love this, this amazing place. They've got a swing with a rope. They've got an awesome bookcase that the kids can climb on and slide down in the back. It's got a beautiful atrium in the middle that has glass ceiling. And what I love the most is that the, the food and the tea and just how it all fits together doesn't feel like anything you've ever seen in Las Vegas. You have to check this place out. Artisan Boutique Hotel has been featured in a ton of shows and movies all over TV and, and film. It's not that it's that. I've known about this place since I was a kid and I have always been in love with it. When you walk into Artisan, what I love about this place is it's as if you're walking into a 1940s Parisian hotel. It's dark, it's kind of dank. There is literally artwork on every inch of every wall and the ceiling and the bar area is super cool because they have some mirrored um, action happen on the ceiling. I love the Artisan. They've got a restaurant. They do have a hotel, so you can actually stay there. They have a cool pool party action that happens, and I think they might do topless there. I'm not sure. But either way, Artisan's one of my favorite spots to go. If I want to sneak away and hide out, grab a cocktail, I'm going to be at the Artisan. Park on Fremont is a really cool location that's right off of Fremont Street on Fremont and Las Vegas Boulevard. Park on Fremont's awesome. The food's great. The drinks are awesome. But that's not the secret. That's not what we're talking about. That's not the hidden gem. The hidden gem is actually through Park on Fremont, behind it, and they have a secret seesaw. Who doesn't want to ride a seesaw as an adult? I know I do, and I try to do it as often as I can every time I go down there with my friends. So next time you're down on Fremont Street, don't forget, park on Fremont, go through there, make sure you buy a cocktail or something on the way in, and then ride on top of that seesaw and play like you're a kid all over again. The Downtown Healing Garden is a very, very special place for not only locals, but tourists alike. What I love about this place is that it was set up as a place of calm to remember those who were touched by the tragedy of 1 October from the Route 91 Music Festival. Festival. It provides a place of refuge for healing and it's a living garden celebrating life, compassion, and the fellowship that we find within our community. Vegas is not just a place for fun and crazy activities. We do have a moment of peace and we do love to enjoy ourselves as a city and come together as a community when we need to. Vegas is filled with hidden gems, as I mentioned before, so this is just a small list and we're gonna continue to find them and bring them to you. But I need to know, do you wanna see these videos? Do you even care about these videos? Comment below and let me know because we wanna make sure that we're creating content that you are looking for so that it'll make your move to Las Vegas or your visit to Las Vegas that much better. If you're thinking of moving to Vegas or you're even considering the idea, do me a huge favor. There's a link in the description below. Me and my team, we are so excited about the fact that we can help you understand how, how life in Vegas looks and feels. So let us answer your questions. We're not a pressure team. We don't care if you buy a house. We'd like you to, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to be a resource for you to help you understand what life in Vegas really looks like. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching the channel. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the fun stuff that you're supposed to do on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.